R.I.P. to Ahmad Ahmad Arbery, I believe. Unarmed black man killed in Georgia while jogging. It's fucked up. That whole situation is like, it pisses me off. Um, I don't know about you, but I like really am scared of this outlook or this outcome because it doesn't look like it's going to be too good. It looks like Trayvon Martin. It looks like Emmett Till. I mean, they they had uh, the guy who filmed it was on the news earlier. Is that? <clears throat> yeah, and um, his lawyer they was they wasn't answering any real questions. His name is William Bryan. What is, you got Corona over there? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, he was like, yeah, my client has a high school education. And they, they basically don't want to answer any questions. So what you have is, I, I believe one of the killers was a former cop, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's strike Greg one. McMichaels. Yeah, then they're already assassinating the boy's character, bringing up mugshots and little petty crimes he did years ago that have nothing to do with this case. Right. And um, the third strike is just saying that he was uh, fighting back. I'm like, oh, I told somebody on YouTube, one of my white subscribers, I said, well, if someone's trying to harm you, physically, let alone kill you, you mean to tell me you're not going to fight back? This isn't a police officer here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Not, you're resisting. So Are you, like, you're not supposed to defend yourself? Exactly. So I'm like, the, with those three right there, that basically lets you know where they're going. The fact that they got charged and locked up. Look, George Zimmerman got charged. Mm-hmm. Sorry. So I just think the outrage is going to be crazy. Because like I say, white people's biggest fear is rebellion. They They wake up. They think one day they're going to wake up and every black person in America is going to say, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> Get out of bed. And- Unfortunately, it's going to come to that point. Yeah, some, some Civil War and that turn of shit, man. I'm telling you. And that's, that's their biggest fear. And it looks like it's going to get there pretty soon because given the current condition that we're in with this whole Corona shit and people can't go outside, motherfuckers can't work. It were, there was a study that said like most of the people that was laid off make under 40 grand a year or something. So it's like 40 grand a year and below. So those are the people who lost their jobs. And if these people can't pay their bills and can't pay their rent and all of this, it's like, what do you think is going to happen? They're frustrated, yeah. And and then you have the killing of an unarmed black man. Again, unfortunately, this like happens way too often in, in this country. But it happened back in February. Yeah, that's what That's the me. kicker. 75 days before it went viral. And I'm like, hold up, black, the black entertainment capital or black anything is the capital is Atlanta. I'm like, all of y'all in Atlanta, none of y'all niggas knew about this? Nobody saw it? Yeah, and I'm like, well, they, <laughs> I heard every excuse. They didn't release the footage till two weeks ago. I'm like, I'm talking between officials, activists, all of this shit. Nobody, like, come on, man. Right. I, that's what's get bugging me out. Like they've been buried this dude, unfortunately. And then uh his best friend said it's not about race. Who's best friend? I did a video on that um over the weekend. I'm already uh Ahmad Alberry's best friend. Remember when that guy got killed in Dallas and his brother hugged the lady? Hugged uh the yeah, um Bokum. Yeah, he was like, This isn't about race, this is about us as a uh, as a nation or something. I'm like, What what are you talking about? You know, it's too early in the show for me to slam my headphones, but I damn it, I want to slam my headphones. <laughs> yeah, but you got what do they mean? It's hard to have a revolution or a war or anything when you got Negroes like that on the front lines, unfortunately. So you got to watch out for them type of niggas. Right. Oh, shit. What happened to my goddamn window? Oh, there we go. Sorry. Fucking phone just started ringing. Motherfuckers trying to, trying to call me during the show. Um, but continue, sorry. No, nah, no, nah, I was just saying, like, you got too many uh, butter biscuit shoe shining niggas out here. Right. I hold us back, but yeah, we got a lot of issues, man. You got Sean Reed died, like I say, and uh, they brought up black on black crime. Like I say, that's a narrative I can't fucking stand. What the fuck does that got to do with right. black cops killing black people? You know? Like, and don't blame me. Chicago and, and all these other homicides, like it's millions of regular niggas like us who don't do any of that. But I right. feel like we get the blame from the older folks, the boomers and shit. Black on black crime and y'all gotta stop killing each other. Who the fuck is y'all? Like exactly. Every, every race group has their gangsters, their hoodlums, their thugs. But for some reason, with us, they like to blame mm-hmm. us that you know our street people do. Right, because it's easy to point the finger at a group 
the press group mm. at this point because we're going to get riled up anyway because we're tired. Like, yo, what the fuck? Like, you always blaming shit on us. And blaming yourself, that's a tactic of, like, slave post-dramatic syndrome or whatever. Yeah, that's that's some mm. shit programs you to blame yourself. You know, take care of it. It's in God's hand and all of that. You always reflecting all of the bullshit that they put on us and trying to blame it on ourselves or either the saying, let God take care of it. That mentality is still brewing. We went over that last show. All right, we always going to keep putting it in God's hands, huh? <laughs> like, that's what we doing? Like, uh, just pray about it, baby. <laughs> nah, yeah. This, this, Unfortunately, this whole situation happens way too often. The kid was... uh a high school football star, right? Like he was out jogging because that's part of the lifestyle. Like he, he does this. And and basically what they're saying is stay in your neighborhood. Like if you want to stay, if you would have stayed in your neighborhood, this probably wouldn't have happened to you. Oh shit. So he was under, they basically saying he was in the wrong, he was in a white neighborhood, the wrong yeah. place. Wrong. Yeah. Wow. Cause that's why, that's why the, the father and the son, they basically chased him down. Like did he, did, like, and that's what I don't understand. Like, if they try to use that whole stand your ground law, like, the kid was jogging. Mm-hmm. Like, you didn't catch him with any equipment, no burglary equipment, as they claim. You didn't catch him with any personal property. So where do you get the right to, if you, even if you think you're doing a citizen's arrest, where do you get that right? There was no evidence. Like, how the fuck do you get off? Where do you get off? Excuse mm-hmm. me. Where do you get off? Body and you're not a cop. You used to be. Exactly. And why? And, and has anybody looked up why he isn't a cop anymore? Nah, I haven't. You know, and you and his and his buddy just happened to be filming it. So right. And they and they ain't arrest him talking about some. Oh, uh, he ain't had nothing to do with it. But motherfucker, you didn't stop it. No, nah, th- like, at all. That did. <laughs> and recorded it and held on to the footage for two months. They're not even letting him talk right now. His attorney doing all the talking. His attorney basically called him stupid on national television. He wow. Said, my, my client has a high school education, and that doesn't mean much. Whatever they ask. What the hell does a high school education have to do with this? Like, <laughs> like if I if I witnessed a murder and yeah. I videotaped it, but I didn't stop it, I'm yeah. going to jail. Yeah, but that's that good old boys network they got. That's that good old yep. boys. They look out for each other like that. They know yeah. what it is. Yeah. That's 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 a shame, man. Un- unfortunately, you know, this happens way too often. Um, R.I.P. to Ahmad Arbery. Um, I don't I don't really know what to say um as far as to the family, but damn man. Yeah, like I can say I'm I'm really tired of these stories. I just seen a video of some other dude um, on Instagram being posted, being held down by the cops, getting gonna banging him in his head. Um, you had Sean Reed last week in Indianapolis. And that was a black cop that, that did that to him, right? I'm not even sure. As I say, I don't even keep up with the details. I'm, just, I'm at this point where I'm just so exhausted and burned out from it. You know, I'm just tired of seeing this shit.